Hey all, I'm Dr. Tony Bartels with VIN and VIN Foundation. Uh, this is probably long overdue, but I wanted to provide a quick tutorial on how you can use the My Student Loans feature on the VIN Foundation Student Debt Center. So that's going to include obtaining your federal student aid data file and then uploading that student aid data file into the VIN Foundation My Student Loans tool. So there's a few different ways that you can get to the VIN Foundation Student Debt Center. Uh, one of them is from the vinfoundation.org website. So under resources here, you'll see a whole bunch of resources that we have for pre-veterinary students, veterinary students, and veterinarians. But we're looking here for the student debt resources and particularly the Student Debt Center. So I'm going to scroll down a little bit here until I find the link to the Student Debt Center. You can also directly reach the Student Debt Center by typing in vinfoundation.org forward slash student debt center into your browser. So that will take us here uh, to the VIN Foundation Student Debt Center. Uh, this is a, a free set of resources. It's designed specifically for veterinary students and veterinarians, but anybody can use it. Uh, but do note that the tools that are on the Student Debt Center are really um, catered towards those with graduate and professional school student loans, so veterinarians or you know other folks who might have a graduate school degree of any kind. Um, similar, you'll find similar results uh, for for those folks. But we do not the the, the rules and regs are not configured on this uh, resource for uh, undergraduates. So there are some specific differences that you may want to note uh, before you use any of the resources here. If you have undergraduate loans only and you're not anticipating also utilizing graduate school or professional school student loans. So when we get here, um, the first place that you'll probably want to start is the My Student Loans tool. This is where you can upload your student aid data file into here, get a summary of the information that's in there, and, and really start to try to make sense of, of the different types of student loans that you have. Um, there is a tutorial on here on how to obtain your student aid data file, right? So we do, that's the input that we need. Um, so before you can click one of these buttons here, you do have to have your student aid data file. Uh, down here on the page, you can see that there's a little bit of information on how you can obtain that student aid data file. And that's what I'm gonna show you here. So I'm gonna take you over to the student aid website. And that's gonna take you to studentaid.gov, right? This is, for those of you that are still in school, you'll recognize this. Uh, this is where you're gonna go to apply for your student aid. And for those of us who are in repayment, you can use this page to uh, apply for a consolidation loan, or you can apply for your repayment plan here, or renew your annual income documentation if you're using an income-driven repayment plan. There's also some great information here regarding the pandemic student loan repayment relief that is currently available. So as that continues to evolve, you can usually find uh, that information here. That's what this announcement is on the top of the page. But I'm gonna log in and you're gonna use the same credentials that you use to apply for your student loans. Uh, if it's been a while since you've been in here or it's been a while since you've had to apply for student aid, uh, you can recreate your account. For those of us uh, that has you know, been removed from school for a while, you'll remember your FAFSA PIN, right? So you can kind of recreate that uh, using your, even if you have your old FAFSA PIN information or using your social security number, you can reactivate that login information so you can get in here to obtain your federal student aid data file. But I'm gonna log in using my credentials. Um, I do this quite often. I, I demonstrate this as part of the webinars that we do uh, for veterinarians and veterinary students around student loan repayment. And when you come in here, you're gonna see a, a summary of information, right? So this is a summary of, of my remaining student loan balance. Um, and what you're really looking for here is the view details link, right? So you'll click on that. And this is going to take you to another more detailed dashboard. And if you do this on a device where you can actually save files or one that has a wide enough screen, uh, you'll have this download my aid data link. Right? So you might not want to do this on a phone. Um, best to do this using some kind of computer or tablet where you can save uh, your, your, your file. But if you click on this, it'll allow you to download this text file that contains all of the hairy details of your higher education federal student loan borrowing history, right? And that's really what we're looking for. So I'm gonna save this here to 
um, some folders that I have. I've got several of my files here. I'll just save this one today. So this is from February 2021. All right, so I'll save this on my computer. And then I'm gonna come back to the Student Debt Center, right? And this is the Event Foundation My Student Loans page, right? So we're in the My Student Loans tool. And I have already graduated from veterinary school, right? So I would use this one. If you're a student, you still have some borrowing to go. This is where you'd upload this. And if you haven't started borrowing yet for veterinary school, or you just want to do an estimate of what that might cost you, you can use this. Uh, you don't have to upload a file to do this. This will take you just to the in-school loan estimator, which is a different tool we have available. So I'm going to upload my a data file here. I'm going to go find my demo. And we'll upload the most recent one that I just obtained. And this will create that summary. This is the data that, that we're really looking for, uh, particularly now when it comes to, I've been getting a lot of questions lately about the pandemic relief and you know how do I make my loans eligible if they're not currently eligible or if there's going to be additional student loan relief in the future, how do I make sure I'm eligible for that? All of those conversations, uh, as well as you know, knowing what repayment plan you should use or should be using, starts with this file, right? Because we really have to know what kind of loans you're dealing with. And unfortunately, the student loan servicers, they, they all kind of display various bits of information, so it's not very consistent. The information on your student aid data file is consistent for everybody that has student loans. So that's where we go to start and, and, and gather our you know, quote minimum database if we were to compare it to uh, to veterinary medicine in terms of, of working through a clinical case. So here we can see, you know, right now my interest rates are set to zero uh, because of the COVID-19 forbearance provisions, but but this, this is what gives me that summary of information that I'm looking for. One of the other uh, tools that I want to show you in here, um, right now it says up here, hi visitor. Uh, if I log in to VIN, if I've got credentials to log in to VIN or VIN Foundation, so the Veterinary Information Network, this is a a, a private area that, that veterinarians, uh, veterinary students have access to, um, this will save this upload that I just put into here um, in, this, in this tool, right? So I don't have to continually update that file uh, or up upload it every time I come back here. Um, I can, you know, if I have my VIN login credentials or if you're a veterinarian and you're not a member of VIN, we can get you some VIN Foundation login credentials so you can save these files. But here I can go and pull up, um, I can pull up this information for the last three times I've, I've uploaded it. So uh, that's one of the, that's, that's how you can use the My Student Loans tool um, once you have your student aid data file. And that's where we, you know, start to make sense of, of, of all those different student loan uh, provisions and benefits that are out there. Um, and then we're going to probably make some subsequent videos on on what you do next. But I wanted you all to be aware of how to upload and obtain that file uh, so you can at least start that process. Uh, thanks for watching. And if you need any assistance, feel free to reach out uh, to studentdebt at vinfoundation.org. Um, or you can also, when you're logged in to here with your credentials, you can find me on the VIN Foundation and VIN Student Debt folder where we provide personalized uh, student loan repayment assistance. So hope to see you there. Uh, and please let us know what we can do to help.